All right, guys, this your boy, No Chill Chad. And today, what I'm pretty much gonna do is give you a full rundown of my mods. Uh, the last one I did was, it was a nine month marker. Now we're at about a year and a half, probably, probably another nine months. So another 18, 18, almost two year update of what's going on with the car, all the mods. We're just gonna kind of just go down the entire list. Cause I get a lot of questions of like, hey, what's done to your car? What's done to your car? So I'm literally gonna just go down pretty much the entire list of everything. So take notes, you know, ask some more questions, some detailed questions. I'm pretty much just gonna go the main parts and what you can kind of see, you know, things that you probably can't see from the outside, but we might be able to get a photo and kind of just go from there. All right, so here you go. So we're gonna start with the outside of the vehicle. This is a Carbon Motorsports uh, SLP style grill. He did some custom carbon fiber with a red trim on the SS. Kind of see there, got some rock chips on the grill. Somebody get that resprayed. I got a custom emblem from Emblem Pros. It has the red, white, and blue with the SS with like a mirror background to it. These headlamps are the ones on Amazon or you actually got them on Amazon and they have the black housing clear lens and a lot of the aftermarket headlamps don't fit great. These are not the greatest, but they're better than what I've seen. So there's a little gap to it. Not too bad, you know, which I've seen from other people. Here I have the Morimoto fog lights from Screaming Chicken. And it comes with the bracket, super bright. Of course, these are uh, my my custom sequential turn signals. I get a lot of people that ask about those. So these are my custom sequential turn signals, OEM style. And they just have the sequential uh, turning in them. There's a dial on them where I can you know speed it up, slow it down, a couple different other features, but this is the style that I just like personally. You know, just, just enough to make it different, custom, and that's it. So I also, they were amber, uh, and I just got them painted smoke. So when the lights are off, it just looks black. But of course, when it turns or when they, at night, you can see the amber clear. What we have here are 18 by nine and a half. 18 by 11 rear BC force wheels. I think the LE 91, I want to say. And this is not the step lip. This is the just the, the, the standard lip that they have. They have two lip options. Uh, it's like a, a transparent black brushed with the polished lip. I also have the bare brakes front and rear. As you can see, six piston, 13 inch rotors, four piston, 13 inch rotors. You can go with a 14 inch rotor. Uh, I decided to just go with the 13 just to make sure it was gonna clear 18s or if I decided to put my factory wheels back on, factory SS wheels, it was still clear. But I know some people are probably gonna go a little bit bigger on the six piston and go with the 14 inch rotor. It's cool as long as you're running, you know, bigger than a 17, so 18 inch and up. Toyo tires, proxy sport, uh, all seasons on the front. I need those, you know, when you're, going in, when you're going into rain, you want some control on the front. And then I have the Toyo Proxies R-AAA-R. These are also really good in any type of weather. It is a road course tire, so dry street, you know, a road that's a little damp. 
these tires really do perform. Only thing is that they only give you about, you know, five to maybe 6,000 miles of like some really good tread. And after that, it's time to get a new set. So costly, but these are probably the best tires on the market that I've dealt with. And I've dealt with a lot of tires. These are definitely the best. They just wear really quick. I got these tinted side markers on Amazon. I think they were 20 bucks. They have like a little LED strip in them. Pretty simple. These are the OEM tail lights. And then I took them to a body shop and I had them smoke them. So you could still see very well, but you can see that it's a little bit darker. Uh, this is a common problem with these lights that when people start tinting these lights, they start to kind of dimple a little bit. I'm not sure if the plastic can't breathe or if it's the type of bulb that i have but i'm gonna i'm gonna get some uh different tail lights soon corsa cat back exhaust i did buy a new third brake lamp from hawks corsa i forgot where i got oh i got this antenna also from screaming chicken you can get that antenna the little short i like it better than that big long one and i really don't like the the uh, power one that kind of extends because even when it extends, it's like sky high. So I like this one. It's really out of the way. It blends in. It's cool. Of course, J-Rod QA1. So I have the F-Body QA1 Level 3 Handling Package. I didn't get the drag package. I got the handling because, you know, I, I want to drive it any and everywhere. I mean, if I can handle it, it'll be all right on the drag course. It's, it's going to be more for some street fun and just cruising, not dedicated track car. But as you can see, lower control arms, sway bar. I got the coilovers under here. Can you see that? Um, we got the torque arm. And the yeah, you can see the torque arm. I got the sway bars in the front, coils in the front. They don't offer a K-member setup for this car. So we'll probably have to end up with the UMI or the BMR K-member setup with the upper and lower control arms. Interior phone clip is Pro Clip USA. Sony CD player that came with the car when I bought it. I'm definitely gonna upgrade that. I also have the Wolf Box rear view mirror and i'll get into that later also i have the wind restrictor here you can get this custom uh, with the led light uh one color or multiple color you get anything you want engraved looks good as night looks good at night you know and you know looks good cruising gives it a little bit of light some aesthetics and that's really about it for the interior so far so far and now for the engine, you know, super clean engine bay. I have the Mighty Mouse mild catch can. We have the MSD intake manifold, MSD fuel rails to match. I have the FIC fuel injectors. I wanna say like the 650s. Uh, Holly LSX valve covers, keeping it clean. MSD throttle body. This is the 103 throttle body. Brand new water pump, Texas Speed headers, Taylor spark plug wires, and we have a coil relocation setup. So it looks really good, you know, not being able to see the coils. I have a BTR stage three cam. I have a Circle D torque converter. Still have the stock air box. And that's really about it. Some LED bulbs from Screaming Chicken. And this setup right here made about 420 wheel. We had Pat G tuning. He just tuned it last. If you watch some of my other videos, you know I had another tuner. But yeah, it looks good, it looks good. So that's really, that's really it, man. Uh, I don't have really too much going on. I mean, once I really add it up, it's, it's, def <laughs> it's definitely a lot of money spent. Um, 
even you know even with sponsors you know I, I tell you guys all the time you know these sponsorships or partnerships relationships you know it's really all about you know like i say just building those relationships uh, definitely you know supporting the companies that support you vice versa and you know i only shop with the best anyway so i'm never gonna put it on my car if i don't believe in the product you know just to say I either you know i got it for free or i got a discount none of that everything on the car is something that you know i would purchase any given day regardless of you know whatever it was going to cost the whole setup so all right guys this is your boy no chill chat checking out make sure you like comment subscribe tell me what you want to see next i do have some other things in store coming it's just man i'm trying to make all these shows all these events plus work it's just crazy so i got a couple more little goodies that i'm gonna do and then I'm gonna jump on my truck. So you all know I have a 6.2 GMC Sierra with the 10 speed and the thing moves out. So I really wanna, you know, add a little power to it, get that thing jacked up in the sky and put some nice wheels and tires on it, possibly wrap it. I have never done a wrap, like a full wrap. I've done like the hood wrap, trunk and stuff, accents, but I've never done a full color change wrap. So I may do that just to do something different. But like I said, hit me up. Check out my website, nochillchat.com. You can grab your shirt, F-Body or Nobody. And y'all take it easy, man. Good luck on your build. I know sometimes it gets stressful. Trust me, I get those too, but just keep going. And like I said, you know, I'm trying to put these F-Bodies back on the map. A lot of people forgot about them, but, you know, bring them back out. If you know somebody with one, get it, save its life, build it, bring it out on the street, man. Y'all take it easy.